Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna waste too much time on an intro. If you just picked up a Fire Tablet for Christmas, one of the 2020 editions, and you wanna put the Google Play Store on and get rid of Amazon's bloatware, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And it's very simple. All we need is the tablet itself and a Windows PC and a USB-A to USB-C cable. Okay, let's go. Okay, first thing you wanna do is go down to settings, go to device options, and then scroll down until you find about Fire Tablet. And now we want to tap on serial number until it says we're a developer. Now go back, go to developer options, toggle that on, click OK. And we're going to look for USB debugging, turn that on, click OK. And that's all for the tablet for now. OK, so I've left the link for the installer in the description. So just download it from there and then follow it through. Um, I'm going to get some errors because I've already installed it before, so it's going to moan about ADB. Um, you can just ignore this part. I'm just going to click skip. But obviously, normally you wouldn't see this error, so it's fine. Okay, so now we're finished with the installation. Um, at this point, you want to make sure that your tablet is plugged in by USB. Um, and then you can just let Windows install the drivers for it automatically. Okay, so now we're going to plug in our USB-C cable. Click allow. And then click OK. Ignore the warnings about load charging, it doesn't matter for this. And now back to the PC. Okay, so now let's load up the Fire Toolbox. You can skip the tour, this is not really that necessary, everything's fairly straightforward. And just click on Google Services. You would have seen that your device is connected in the previous page. And just click Execute. Um, and obviously now you just got to wait for this to go through. So it does take a while, but obviously it's worth the wait. And it does recommend now that you wait for about 10 minutes just to make sure the Google services update. Um, and I actually think it's worth doing a reboot as well, just to make sure everything's done properly. Um, you can also do a few other things. So I'm going to install Nova Launcher here. This is another good way to get rid of some Amazon bloat. Um, and this one also deactivates the Fire Launcher. Um, so it's a handy way to do this. Okay, um, and some other options we've got. We can install Google Assistant. So if you want Google Assistant, just click here. Um, and this will disable Alexa as well. Um, so you might want to do this, you might not. It's com again, it's completely optional. But if you do want to do it, just click Execute. And you can use the Fire Toolbox at any time as well. You don't have to do this all straight away. But I just find it handy to do it all in one go. Okay, so now we can also disable all this Amazon stuff. So let's do that. So that's it for the toolbox. Now we can have a look at the device. Okay, so we can now set up Nova Launcher by going home. Um, pretty much everyone knows how Nova Launcher works. So I'm not really going to go through this, but I'll skip to the next bit. Okay, so let's now get into the Google Play Store. Um, as you can see, all the bloat's gone, so it's a nice clean Android tablet now. So we'll just sign in. I'll skip through all this as well. Okay, so now we're into the Play Store. And I mean, that's really it for the video. Now that you've got the Play Store, you can install all your favorite apps. You can install everything that you've purchased before um, and just use it kind of like a clean Android tablet now. So if you like the video and you found it helpful, uh, do me a favor, drop me a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.